So now let's learn how to use React Native CLI instead of Expo. Now before using React Native CLI, you should have Android Studio installed on your system. If you don't have Android Studio installed, then make sure you follow all the necessary steps to install Android Studio correctly. Once you install Android Studio, then we can copy this command. Now make sure now in here we are using making use of this npx now if we use npx then we don't need to install this react native uh, utility in our system right if we are if we are using npm then we need to type uh, npm install react native minus g but if, here we are making use of npx so we don't need to install this react native in our system right so we'll be copying this command right control c and i will open my terminal where i want to install or where I want to set up my project so I'll do a right click in here and I will rename this awesome project to let's say I am a amazing weather app amazing I will make W capital so that it is readable and I will hit enter now I will wait for few seconds and I will let this uh, project set up for me the CLI is, CLI is installing uh, all the dependencies required. We'll wait for a few more seconds. And it's done. So I'll navigate to my project by typing CD A M A Z I N G Amazing uh, W E A T H E R Weather app. Now I will open my VS code in this directory. Right? And let me fit this to my screen size. Now, in order to run our application, we can type in here npx react native run android. Now, this run android does three things for us. First, it will install the app if app is not installed. And it will also start the development server. And the third thing, it will also link the library with the native code. So if we install any library, let's say we'll be installing React Native Paper or we'll be installing async storage. So in that case, we need to again type this command in order to link the library with the native code. So let's copy this and let's paste this command in our terminal. I will do a right click and I will hit enter. And here is my emulator. Now let's see what this does. So it will install the APK and it will also spin up a development server. So if we are running it for the first time, it, it may take a little bit time. So it has started our development server, right? A starting JS server. So this is this will be our development server. And it's doing something, right? So let's let's wait, right? Let let this do the some stuff and I think it's almost done uh, here you can see install debug right so maybe our app is getting installed in here right yeah okay so again you can see our app is being opened and our development server is also running right so this is our development server yeah, it is it will take a time if you are running with it for the first time and it's completely okay and I think it's done and here we go now we can see welcome screen in here right so we have successfully uh, set up our few our, our new project with using react native CLI instead of expo so from the next part we'll be starting the starting with the coding part so I'll see you guys in the next video